Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. It is Sunday, and what a way to end the week. We got 12 races we want to get to right away. Let's look at those track and weather conditions. The main track fast, the turf course firm, the first race one mile and one sixteenth on the turf. These are claimed as Phillies and Mares four-year-olds and up, which have never won three races. Scratch number two, Rambo. They're off. Good start by six inch heels. Who goes out to the early lead? Twist and Bake on the outside is away well, with Set on Salsa out third from the rail. After that comes in fourth, St. Abbey, who settles back about four lengths off the lead early on. Then Julissa, G.P. Ricky, and Princess Zenyi in between horses. Break of another three, back to Pollyanna, who is second last as they make their way into the turn. And last of them all is Rinka Tepe. Up front... It's Six Inch Heels, who ran a 23 and one opening quarter mile, opens up to lead by almost two. Set on Salsa, clearly second onto the back stretch, two and a half lengths ahead of St. Abbey and Twist and Bake on the outside. Then GP Ricky. Outside of them, Julissa, Princess Zenyi is down at the rail, five and a half lengths from the front. And then it's Pollyanna and Rinka Tepe. They continue their run up the back stretch. And the favorites in front, Six Inch Heels. And Jose Lescano out there on the lead after a 47 and two half mile. They maintain a length and a half advantage on set on Salsa racing for the far turn. And then it's St. Abbey on the inside of GP Ricky. Sent along outside of them is Julissa, three lengths to make up. And then back to Princess Zenyi, Pollyanna to the inside, Rinka Tepe and Twist and Bake. Around the far turn, still six inch heels. Set on Salsa and right behind them is St. Abbey who's in with a shot. Three quarters goes in 111 and two. They're at the top of the stretch. Six inch heels in front. St. Abbey now angles to the outside to run after her. These two arrive at the gate pole and now it's St. Abbey to the front. Pollyanna's coming. On the inside, six inch heels back running in third. Then Rinka Tepe on the inside and set on Salsa. And here comes Pollyanna and Tyler Gaffley going to run down St. Abbey to win it. And then it looked like Rinkatape was third in a photo with set on Salsa and six inch heels. Number four, Pollyanna saves all the ground early and closes nicely, pays $26.20. Owned by Deb Mar Stables, trained by Ricky Griffith, and ridden to victory today by Jackie Tyler Gaffalio. Second race, one mile on the main track. These are claimers, Phillies and Mayors, four year olds and upwards. Scratch number four, Venom Girl. They're all in line. They're off. And it is Trust Your Intuition who comes out running well. BL's wagon on the outside has some speed too. Almost an angel on the inside is away with the leading group as well. And then it's Rain It In, followed by on the inside, almost an angel saintly bound right in behind them. And Wild Eris at the back of the pack as the field heads up the back stretch. It is almost an angel in front. Almost an angel to the lead after 24 seconds flat opening quarter mile. Trust your intuition is running in second. And then it's BL's wagon third to the outside, followed by El Noth, and then saintly bound along the rail as they continue up the back stretch. Rain it ends only four lengths behind and three lengths ahead of trailer Wild Eris. Past the half mile pole, moving for the turn, it's almost an angel in front. Ran a 47 flat half mile, leads it a half a length. Trust your intuition is second. On the outside, BL's wagon makes it three across the track, and El Nath is right behind them, just a length and a half off the lead. Rain it ends under a ride from fifth. Four lengths more back to Saintly Bound, who's lost ground, and Wild Air is still at the back of the field as they come toward the top of the stretch. It is BL's wagon in front. Now El Nath has been switched to the outside for a clear bid, and then it's almost an angel. Trust your intuition. And on the outside, rein it in. Three quarters, 111 and three. And El Nath has made a move for the lead at the eighth pole. El Nath to the front. Getting by BL's wagon and opening up to lead by two. And that it's almost an angel on the inside third, but they're coming down to the wire. And El Nath and Nick Juarez have it won. They score by three and a half lengths over BL's wagon, and then it was almost an angel, followed by Rainered In and Saintly Bound. The favorite number five, El Nath, when it pays $4.60, owned by Marissa Lizza Racing, trained by Marcus Vitale, and ridden to victory today by Nick Juarez. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll have race number three.
Welcome back. The third race is six furlongs. It's an allowance for Phillies and Mads, four-year-olds and upward. A nice field of six runners going to the post. They're off. Good start by Double Bolt. Jamie's Dancer on the inside. Uli is right up there, along with Chad Hills and Del Cielo is in that group, too. Five of them across the track early on. And Skipaloot will sit behind them and trail the field as they start to separate themselves up the backstretch, and Del Cielo emerges up top. A neck lead on Double Bolt running in second. Right behind them comes Uli in third, moving for the turn. Then Chad Hills, Jamie's Dancer, and the trailer is Skipaloot. The quarter's up in 22 and 3. Around the far two turn and it is double bolt who takes over the lead now double bolt to the front chat hills rushes up on the outside and takes over second del cielo has backed off from the leaders now two and a half lengths behind in third then you lie and jamie stancer on the outside and skip a has been last all the way so far they went 45 and one for a half they're into the stretch and it is double bolt and Tyler Gaffleon with a two and a half length lead on Chad Hills at the eighth pole. Jamie's Dancer has taken third on the outside. It is double bolt in front from Chad Hills as they come down to the wire. Double bolt and Tyler Gaffleon win it going away over Chad Hills. It's going to be a head bob for third between Jamie's Dancer and Uli. Number six, double bolt wins, pay $6.40. It gives jockey Tyler Gaffleon his second win today, owned by Goldmark Farm LLC, Whisper Hill Farm LLC, and trained by Ralph Nix. The fourth race, one mile on the turf. These are maiden three-year-olds and up, which scratch the main track only. Number 10, drop shot. They're off. Even beginning here, Honorable Daniel in full scope go out to the front. There goes not a chance on the outside to be a part of the pace two. And Street Gun came out running in fourth. They're being followed on the outside by lottery ticket. And in between horses, moving into the turn is Kluntia. At a break of another two lengths more to a ground-saving trip for Gandono going into that turn. At the back of the field are Titanium Heart and Hello Don Julio. In the meanwhile, running away from the competition here is Honorable Daniel through a 22-flat opening quarter mile. Honorable Daniel all alone and moving at a swift pace, six lengths in front onto the back stretch from a well-held not a chance who's content to sit second for now up the back stretch. And then a Break of two and a half back to full scope, running in third street gun on the outside is fourth. Clunty is about eight lengths off the lead in fifth as they continue through a half mile in 45 and three fifth seconds. It's still Honorable Daniel, but the lead is down to two and a half lengths moving into the turn. Not a chance continues to track and get closer in second. And now being sent along on the outside is Street Gun going three wide. Clunty is four deep right behind them. And for the back of the pack, here comes Hello Don Julio, who has to go up on the far outside of horses, but is charging toward the front runners as they come to the top of the stretch. And now it's Street Gun who takes the lead. Not a chance to the outside lottery ticket. Outside of them, Clunty, Hello Don Julio down the center and from far behind Gandono trying to get involved too. And now Hello Don Julio hits the front. Hello Don Julio and Corey Lannery to win it over lottery ticket. And that it was Gandono followed by Cluntia and Titanium Heart. Number three, Hello Don Julio springs the upset and pays $39.40. Owned and trained by Mike Dilger and ridden to victory today by Corey Lannery. Race number five, six furlongs. These are maiden Philly three-year-olds. Scratch the number eight, Katie Ice. They're off and a very slow start here for bygone days. Miss Bob is going out to the front. From the inside, tis the sound. Lady Soul goes with them. Conquest Serenade came out running in fourth to the outside. Go Maggie Go is fifth. And back to Thanks to Life and Saharan. And it's a gap of another eight lengths more back to True Egyptian. And after that very tardy start, Bygone Days is way behind the field as they race for the far turn. The first quarter's up in 22 and four. Lady Soul takes the lead. Conquest Serenade comes after her. These two are now one, two on the turn. And then it's Tis the Sound back running in third on the inside. Go Maggie Go is fourth. Miss Bob is down at the rail. Then comes Thanks to Life and Saharan on the outside. Lady Soul and Conquest 
Serenade coming to the top at a stretch together. Go Maggie Go sent up three wide after them. The half in 46 flat. They're into the stretch. Lady Soul and Conquest Serenade side by side. And Go Maggie Go is on the far outside. Three of them across the track. Go Maggie Go and Conquest Serenade. Lady Soul is back to third. Go Maggie Go has taken the lead and is pulling away under Luis Saez. Go Maggie Go finishing strong by four over Conquest Serenade, then Lady Soul, Miss Bob, and Tis the Sound. Nice debut for number three, Go Maggie Go. Pay $16.40, owned by Mike Top, trained by Dale Romans, ridden to victory today by Luis Saez. Sixth race, five furlongs on the turf. He's a maiden claimer, Philly three-year-old, scratch the one, Wumpum Girl, also scratch number 13, Daily Feature. They're off. And it's Michael's little ally in Miss World Venezuela. These two out for the lead. They're followed by Ukraine, who came out running in third. First salute is fourth. After that, it's Bop She Bop, fifth up the back stretch. Starship Reina, sixth on the inside. And then comes Gitana Storm, seventh. And racing eight lengths off the lead, moving for the far turn. And then it's back to Fend for Yourself, followed by Pussy Willow to the inside. Then comes Macroeconomics. And at the back of the pack, it's Manana. 21 and two was the quarter. And two of them far ahead of the others as they come to the top of the stretch. Michael's little ally on the inside. On the outside, it's Miss World Venezuela. These two turn for home together with an eight-length lead on the rest. Michael's little ally and Miss World Venezuela well clear of their competition. First salute is next, then Starship Reina and Ukraine on the inside. It's Miss World Venezuela in front. Miss World Venezuela Bearing out late, but well clear. And then it was Michael's little ally, followed by Starship Reina. First salute and a photo between Ukraine and Pussy Willow. Number two, Miss World Venezuela wins and lights up the board. Pays $20.40. Owned by Orleana Farm. Trained by Bruno Tesori. And ridden to victory today by MSCL Jaramillo. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back. It'll be race. ahead focused on a single goal then it's showtime ready to face another challenge and while victory may be uncertain you can always bet on us to be at our very best Welcome back to seventh race, one mile and one sixteenth on the turf. These are claimers, four-year-olds and upward, which have never won their three races. Full field of 12 runners going to the post. They're off. And it is Greyfell on the inside who comes out running to the outside. Shipwreck Kelly up and after the lead. And there goes Imperator with Shipwreck Kelly. These two are going to take over. Then it's Seuss. Followed by Tinto Mesa, who sits back running in fifth. Corinthian Summer, sixth on the inside. Umberto is seventh as they make their way into the turn. And cutting the corner is inside the pipe. Who's racing in eighth down on the inside, moving around the turn. Then comes Ven Holiday. And moving up on the far outside is Sky Over Flats. Simferopol is next, and the trailer is Modern Tail. The first quarter's up in 23 and two-fifth seconds. They're racing on to the backstretch with Imperator leading Shipwreck Kelly by a half a length. Two and a half clear of Seuss and Greyfell. Tinto Mesa is fifth, six off the lead. Sky over Flats is next, and then comes Corinthian Summer to the inside. After that comes inside the pipe, Van Holiday in between horses, Simferopol on the outside. Then Modern Tail and Umberto in the half was 47 and one. Now they make their way into the far turn. And the leader is Imperator. 
Shipwreck Kelly on the outside, second by two. Seuss follows in third. Then Greyfell, Tinto Mesa to the outside, followed by Corinthian Summer and Modern Tail, and they're coming toward the top of the stretch. And it is Shipwreck Kelly who's going to turn for home in front here. Cutting the corners, Imperator. These two side by side into the final furlong, and then comes Seuss in third, followed on the far outside by Modern Tail, and then Tinto Mesa. It is a wide open affair as they come through the stretch, and here comes Modern tail after Seuss. These are the two Seuss modern tail. It is Seuss to beat modern tail. Then inside the pipe, Tinto Mesa and Imperator. Number three, Seuss gets the victory. Pays $10 even owned by Harvey Clark, Steve Lehman and Paul Braverman and Terrence Murray trained by Timmy Hills and ridden to victory today by our leading rider, Javier Castellano. The eighth race, a one-mile starter, optional claimer, Phillies and Mayors, four-year-olds and upward, full field, eight runners going to the post. They're off. Good start by a walk in the moonlight. Double Berg's out of there well to the inside, concealed with a kiss. Too clever by half down at the rail and Miss Darla from the far outside. And they're leaving the shoot with concealed with a kiss and too clever by half leading the way. And right to the outside of them is Miss Darla, who's running along in third position as they leave the shoot. Break of another two. A walk in the moonlight follows in fourth. And then it's Roll It Gal double Berg to the outside, followed by Al's Rosie and Starship Lisa. First quarter's up in 23 and one. Heading up the back stretch, concealed with a kiss and too clever by half on the inside. And sitting off of them is Miss Darla. She's two and a half lengths behind the pace setting pair. Then a line of three. It is a walk in the moonlight on the outside. In between horses, Double Berg and Roll It Gal down at the rail, starting to lose ground. Starship Lisa next and Al's Rosie. 45 and four was the half mile. Concealed with a kiss, duking it out up front with two clever by half. And Miss Darla set to reel them in two and a half lengths behind them. After that, it's Starship Lisa fourth on the outside and progressing. A walk in the moonlight and Double Burger next. They're coming to the top of the stretch. Concealed with a kiss, still going at it with two clever by half. And they're clear two and a half lengths. Miss Darla being asked for more. Passed now by Starship Lisa's in with a shot on the outside. Starship Lisa's bearing down on these front runners. And here's Starship Lisa moving up alongside of Concealed with a kiss. Too clever by half. Right behind them, it's Miss Darla coming down to the line. It is Starship Lisa to win it. Too clever by half was next. Then Concealed with a kiss, Miss Darla and Doubleberg. Number two, Starship Lisa sits off the early pace and wins it. $16.80 owned by Olympia Star Incorporated, trained by Mikhail Yanikov and ridden today by apprentice John Cruz. The ninth race, a one-mile allowance race for four-year-olds and upward, the off-time favorite number one, Unbridled Juan. They're off. Unbridled Juan had a good start from the inside. Showing early speed is Juan and Bina. These two out well with Shaft of Light to the outside of them, away running in third. And now Shaft of Light's going to go up and grab the lead as they race out of the chute. Shaft of Light from Muntij on the outside. High Kodiak Warrior running along in third position up the back stretch. Juan and Bina fourth. Unbridled Juan down on the inside of Ender's Cat. And that it's point made. They're being followed by Bobby's Lucky Seven. And uh, trailing the field up the back stretch is Anderzone. The quarter's up in 22 and four fifth seconds. And Shaft of Light speeds off to a four length lead. Flying along at the half mile pole. Shaft of Light runs a half in 45 seconds flat. Leads it by three and a half lengths as the field races for the far turn. And then it's Juan and Bina, followed by Moon Tige. Unbridled Juan is switched to the outside of them with five lengths to make up. And then comes Ender's Cat. The others have work to do. Shaft of Light is the leader. And here comes Unbridled Juan now, rushing up on the far outside. Unbridled Juan has taken the lead after three quarters in 109 and four. And they're into the stretch, and it's Unbridled Juan now in front. And then it's Shaft of Light and Juan and Bina coming up the rail. Muntij is fourth. Unbridled Juan passing the 16th pole in the clear by three over Juan and Bina. Unbridled Juan comes home on top today. 
Wins it by three over Juan and Bina. Then Shaft of Light, High Kodiak Warrior, and Ender's Cat. The favorite number one unbridled one wins. Pays $3.40. Owned by Stronic Stables. Trained by Jimmy Jerkins. And that gives jockey Javier Castellano his second victory today. The 10th race, one mile on the turf. These are made in Phillies and Mares. Four-year-olds and upward. We have one scratch in the race, and that's number three, blind copy. They're off. And it is Bye Bye Baby going out to the front with Reggae Song. Ginned up, came out running in third on the far outside as the field makes their way into that turn. They're tightly packed on the lead, and it is Reggae Song on the inside going at it with Bye Bye Baby in the early stages. Down toward the rail, it's I'm a Lucky Girl, Sunrise Bernstein is after that, and then it's Cat Napped and Janine Melnitz on the far outside. Ginned up has been taken off the pace now, racing about five lengths from the front and saving ground to the back stretch. The trailer is English Sunset, and the quarter was 23 and 1. Up the back stretch, Reggae Song up front, Bye Bye Baby on the outside, second. Right behind them is Cat Napped in third. Janine Melnitz fourth on the far outside, then I'm a Lucky Girl at the rail. Sunrise Bernstein is after that. Then to the outside, it's Jin Dup, who's racing five off the lead and clear of the trailer up the backstretch, English Sunset. The half, a swift 46 seconds flat. Racing for the turn, Reggae Song, Bye Bye Baby, a neck back on the outside second. Janine Melnitz is next. I'm a lucky girl to the inside. Right behind them comes Catnapped, and farther out, gaining ground is Ginned Up. Sunrise Bernstein is saving all the ground in English. Sunsets at the back of the pack. Reggae Song's going to turn for home in front. Three quarters in 109 and four. They're into the stretch. Reggae Song opens up a length and three quarters from Bye Bye Baby. I'm a lucky girl is down on the inside, and then comes Ginned up fourth. Reggae Song, Bye Bye Baby coming back at her on the outside. I'm a lucky girl and ginned up. It's Reggae Song and Bye Bye Baby. Here's the wire. Bye Bye Baby. I think out there it knows. Reggae Song was right with her on the wire. Then ginned up and I'm a lucky girl. Number six, Bye Bye Baby gets the photo and pays $19.20. Owned by Mainline Racing Stable. Trained by John Service. Ridden to victory today by Paco Lopez. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we will have race number 11. And welcome back to Gulfstream Park. Race number 11, the first half of the late daily double is a one-mile turf event. It's an allowance, optional claimer for fillies and mares, four-year-olds and upward. And we have eight runners in the field. They're off. Thinking of mom had a good start. Cali 37 on the inside away well. Five hearts settles into stride just behind the pace setting pair and guides to the inside. On the far outside, it won't go bad, goes up. My Sweet Girl is next, and then comes Kandhara as they make their way for the first turn. War Alert and Tiz Kismet are at the back of the field. Up front, it's Cali 37 and Joe Bravo. They have taken the lead as they head toward the back stretch on top three quarters of a length. It won't go bad on the outside is in second. Five hearts is third to a 24 flat opening quarter mile. Then it's Thinking of Mom, back running in fourth after an alert beginning. Now three and a half lengths from the front, followed by War Alert, who's on the inside of My Sweet Girl. Two lengths farther back, and then comes Tiz Kismet and Kantara as they continue their journey up the back stretch. Cali 37, on top three quarters of a length. It won't go bad. Second to the outside, a 47 and one half mile. And they're followed by five hearts along the inside, and Thinking of Mom fourth and moving three wide on the turn. And then it's My Sweet Girl, followed by War Alert to the inside, Kantara and Tiz Kismet. 
Cali 37 just keeps on rolling up front here. A two-length lead on five hearts as they come to the top of the stretch. They've gone three quarters in one, ten and two. They're into the stretch. Cali 37 comes into the final furlong two and a half. Now three lengths clear of five hearts. And it's a big gap back to my sweet girl in third. Cali 37 never looked back. Cali 37 and Joe Bravo eased up late by four over five hearts. My Sweet Girl was third, and then came Tiz Kismet and War Alert. Number one, Cali 37 puts him to sleep on the front end and scores, pays $9.20. Nice ride by Joe Bravo, owned by Crush Management and DJ Stable LLC. Trained to victory by Joe Orsino. Twelfth and final race, one mile and one sixteenth on the turf. These are claim of four year olds and upward. Scratch thirteen, scratch number fourteen. They're off. And it's for all the marbles who comes out running well. Bingo bango bongo on the inside showing speed as well. And right to the outside of them, moving for the turn is Clearer View. And now Clearer View goes up and after for all the marbles up front. And Bingo Bango Bongo will sit third, make it gold, follows in fourth. And then comes Silent Admirer on the outside, fifth by another two and a half, followed by Powerful Instinct, Concert Stage, and Hudson Miracle to the inside, and then Wando Boy Slew. Let's wrap it up is at the rail and racing nine lengths from the front and four lengths clear of Empower and Muser. 23 and one was the quarter, and they're on to the back stretch where the leader is for all the marbles and clearer view is a neck back on the outside second bingo bango bongo tracks them from third silent admirer is fourth to the outside and then make it golden concert stage powerful instinct has seven to make up and is racing on the rail and then let's wrap it up in between horses. To the outside is Hudson Miracle. And then it's back to Empower, who's third last moving into the turn, ahead of Muser and Wando Boy Slew. 46 and three was the half. Around the turn for all the marbles and clearer view continue to go at it. They're a length and a half clear of Silent Admirer. Bingo, bango, bongo, fourth in between horses. Make it gold is on the rail. And make it gold's just two lengths behind, coming to the top of the stretch. Then concert stage and powerful instinct trying to close in. They're into the stretch. And the leader is now Clearer View. Clearer View comes into the final furlong with Silent Admirer alongside second. Trying to find some room is Make It Gold. On the outside come Powerful Instinct Concert Stage. They're all coming. They're all coming down to the wire. And it's going to be a photo that goes to Powerful Instinct over Concert Stage. Make It Gold ends up third. Number four, Powerful Instinct gets the photo and gives jockey Tyler Gaffleone his third win today. Horse paid $31.40, owned by Antonacci Racing and trained by John Toscano Jr. The pick five, five of five, five thousand three hundred forty-two dollars and seventy cents, four of five, forty-nine thirty-five. The rainbow six, six of six, twenty-five thousand two hundred eighty-four dollars seventy-four cents to carry over going into Wednesday's eleven race card for three million two hundred fifty-six thousand eight hundred thirty dollars and fifty cents. We have a carryover in the super high five of three thousand four hundred eighty-four dollars and twenty-three cents. And that wraps up Sunday's action. Remember, we're Dark for Live Racing on Monday and Tuesday. We'll be back on Wednesday with an 11 race card, first race post at 12.35 p.m. But don't forget, Gulfstream, always something to do here. You can visit the village at Gulfstream Park. What a great place. Good night and good luck.